It must have been like uh, when Jackie first went vegan. I said at the start there, you know, I will support you, but there's no way in hell I'm ever going vegan. And then five days later, I was like, actually, I think you've got a point to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm always interested in what the turning point was for a person. I don't know if we have time for you to say that. Oh, yeah, yeah well, we yeah, got for time. Sure. time. Uh, well, for me, it was, I've been on a journey. I've been vegetarian on and off since I was about 13. And I actually had a dairy farming background over here in New Zealand, which I've, I've spoken about many times since um, to try and raise awareness of, you know, what, what happens. Um, so I'd made the connection with um, meat and, you know, ha causing harm with meat, you know, eating meat results in death, we know that, but I hadn't made the, the connection with, with dairy. So that for me didn't even come until after I went vegan. So, you know, when I found out what I've been part of, my jaw was just on the floor and just, yeah, it was not, not a good uh, mind blowing moment. Um, but it, it took me a while. I mean, what was really the catalyst for me was um, seeing a Facebook uh, post from a friend of mine. She'd been vegan 25 years and she was always posting pictures of, you know, this is happening to animals and that's happening to animals. And I'd like scroll quickly past thinking, oh God, you know, you're a really nice person, but you're just ruining my day. You know, I don't want to see this stuff first thing in the morning. And I thought about unfollowing her, you know, and then one day she said, can you, you know, please everyone, my Facebook friends sign this petition about pigs. So I was like, all right, I'll be a nice person. I'll sign your damn petition, you know, and I went in and saw what was happening to um, sows in farrowing crates here in New Zealand, which I had no idea of, you know, you always think it doesn't happen in your own country. And so from that point on, I was just, I'm not contributing to any more animal exploitation just, just from then on. Um, yeah. And yeah, told you I was going vegan. <laughs> Yeah, we were living in a tiny, tiny little camper van um, at that stage. And so, yeah, it was it was a bit difficult, like, because Jackie was starting to cook her vegan stuff and I was still having my meaty uh, carnist rubbish. Um, but you started watching a lot of documentaries and stuff. And um, yeah, I, I was supportive of her doing that and stuff. But, you know, I didn't feel it, it was for me, but I was listening out of one ear because I, I was busy mucking around on my laptop on the other end of the lap, uh, other end of the van. And then she was watching What the Health and the, as the fact came up about the links between dementia and dairy and my grandfather had just been diagnosed with dementia. I was just thinking back to what he used to eat, you know, and the whole lifestyle he had. He was French, so he was always um, lots of cheese and wine and everything with every meal. Um, but yeah, I just, for me, that was enough of a catalyst to sort of be like, seeing what he ate. And even if that fact turns out to be false, then, you know, maybe it's worth a try you know i don't want to go ahead with dementia and then like after having that health catalyst to look into it then it was uh, started coming in with all the the animal ethics soon after so i suppose you know when i look back it's technically i went plant-based and then that led to veganism because i was drawn in by the health aspect at first but since then yeah it's just it's, it's always been um every year that we're vegan the more we look back and the more we realize what we did as in our past and for me i used to go hunting up in the hills and go catch rabbits and stuff and make bunny burgers and all sorts of things i thought it was a wholesome wonderful thing to do and now i look back in a bit of horror but at least now i've got that experience to then com communicate better with other hunters and stuff like that so it's um, yeah yeah better late than never you know we can't change yeah, the past that's really important to have because um those hunters are going to listen to you more than they would listen to me because you're you've been there you know? so you weren't uh, you didn't grow up and to be a tree hugger you know what i mean or what they would term as a tree hugger. yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's really valuable actually yeah it's one thing we found for us um well with jackie and her dairy farming industry background she was in the industry for 18 years it means that no dairy farmer could pull the wall over her eyes and at fta we're all about trying to get people to utilize their experiences utilize what they've uh, gone through in order to be the most effective advocates that they can be because like 99 percent of us weren't born vegan so we all have that background that we can use so yeah exactly whatever works yeah